Hi everyone, this is Laura and welcome to my channel. I have a little, um, well actually it's a big card in a box. Um, for those of you who have been following my channel for a little bit, um, you may remember that I made some Valentine's Day cards and I have been on this kick that I've been making cards and then making boxes for the cards. Um, I've used several different styles from several different tutorials here on YouTube. I made one box with an envelope, the We Are Memory Keepers uh, envelope punch board. I made one that I made all on my own. Just I made a box um, and I just winged it and I made it with my own design in mind because the card was an odd shape. And then I made this box which I just basically got the same the tutorial from Split Coast Stampers that I used for the 3x3 three three, and I just upped the measurements so that it would fit my cards. Now, in saying that, um, I had made this box to hold all these little love notes. Now, during Valentine's Day, I did make these cards. I don't know if you remember. And I did make these little envelopes. So I wanted... I wanted it to be like a little card series so I made all the envelopes and the cards um, and basically this is just little love notes it doesn't have to be for Valentine's Day although they certainly are very Valentine's Day looking I decided I wanted to create a box to store these so I made a box that would be big enough to house six by six cards now since I had to make a box, I decided to make a DT project for Alicia's Glitz and More. Alicia has a Zibit store, which I will have all the links to her shop in the description box, as well as her YouTube channel and her Facebook information. Um, I made the box, and then I wanted to decorate it, and I thought of using all the stuff from her store because she has some amazing trims amazing stuff to work with she sent me the most gorgeous items and I will share all those items with you now one of the first items that I used from her shop was this beautiful double lace and what I did was I glued it down this way first and then I came back and glued it down this way um, this is one of those laces where you can rub run rub <laughs> run a ribbon through and this is also from her shop and so I put that all around the box as you can see and then I added this kind of cranberry looking lace um, which that did come from my stash but the flat back pearl that's on top of that uh, please excuse my fingers I've been working on projects all day um, this flat back pearl right here that you see going all the way around the box this actually is from her shop and she sent this in part of her DT package so she sells the flat back white pearl trim these sprays are also from her shop um, these beautiful flowers here are from her shop these resin rose cabochons as well as this little birdie is from her shop and I just kind of layered them all this is also from her shop as well as this little cherub now I don't know if you can see the cherub but I did um, use some perfect pearls and some alcohol markers to color the cherub I did them in pink and gray um, I wanted it to look dirty almost like rustic like vintagey I didn't want it to be pretty um, but I did want to add a little color to that white cherub so that's what I did with that <clears throat> underneath that I have this pink lace that also came from her shop and then I have these little pink ballies um, these beads that also came from her shop this came from her shop this flower is also from her shop and I layered that all on top of this um, die cut this heart die cut here this is from spellbinders and I also distressed that with some black soot 
I have my um, little word tiles that my beautiful friend Marla had went and picked up for me. Thank you so much for getting that for me, Marla. And then all these little applique trims here, these are all also from Alicia's shop. I just cut them apart because these look like leaves to me. So I um, have them all throughout this flower cluster to look as leaves for the flowers. Um, and then I have these little heart resins. And here are some more of those rose color beads that she has in her shop and these flowers and here this little crochet flower is also from her shop and I kind of tuck one of those in here with a little um, flat back resin heart and some more pearls this flower also came from her shop as well as this one and then I don't know if you can see that little fabric flower in there with a little resin heart and again these applique trims also from her shop. Now guys, I don't know if you can see this, but do you see this back here, all this right here? That is actually material. I covered the whole box in that beautiful embroidered sheer organza material. I don't know if you can see the flowers. You see how it moves? This is all material. This material is also from Elisa's shop. I love this material and I did want it to show on the box so I didn't want to cover this part here up too much I didn't want to drown it with things which is what I usually do <laughs> I wanted to have the product shine for once <laughs> and so I did leave this here so that you can see the beautiful embroidered flowers I really hope you guys can see that I'm trying to bring it as close as I possibly can it is gorgeous um, and she gave me so much of it um, I am really really in love with all the beautiful trims that she sent and I still have more so yes guys this is what I made using all the beautiful products that you can find in Alicia's store, which is called Glitz and More. And like I said, I will have all the links to her store, her Facebook, and her YouTube channel in my description box so you guys can go on over and check out these amazing trims. And her prices are so stinking reasonable. I am so in love. With this trim here <laughs> it was hard to use this believe me because I really love this trim um, what I also love about Alicia's YouTube channel guys and you really should um, subscribe to her YouTube channel is that she finds these amazing deals like one giveaway that she had was a Daiso giveaway she went to the Daiso store um, a lot of times she and these are not in her shop these are just little things that she does on her YouTube channel she'll have a collection of stuff um, where she'll put up she'll put together like one time she found a whole bunch of applique trims so she made a whole collection of them and sold it as a kit and then one time she did a Daiso kit and another time she did a vintage lace kit and so she'll put together these wonderful kits for you guys really reasonable like $20 shipped and it includes so many things um, so that's why I encourage you to subscribe to her YouTube channel because sometimes those kits that she sells on her YouTube channel she doesn't necessarily sell them in the store so you want to follow her both ways um, if you're interested in her kits um, which I love you want to follow her on um, YouTube as well as uh, her store and her Facebook and yeah so the, oh and I forgot to show you the bottom because I did finish the bottom off oh I have a little glue string here that I didn't see um, I have a few of them actually did I forget to look at the bottom I think I did <laughs> I have these uh, 12 millimeter flat back pearls and these I put here as little feet for my box for my little love notes so they can stand up all on their own 
And now my little cards have a little happy house. And I think this will make a wonderful gift um, to give to a person. And they'll get three cards with three envelopes. Um, and they're all Valentine's heart related. Yes, I know I am a little bit late. <laughs> but I was just showing you a decorated box. Not really the Valentine's inside. <laughs> So yeah, guys, that's it. Go on over, check out all her links. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you like my project. Have a very blessed day and I will talk to you all soon. Bye for now.